In more local news, Georgia District 2, U.S. House Representative Sanford Bishop visited Macon today, touting Vice President Kamala Harris's health care plan. Bishop and other Georgia Democrats spoke about the Harris campaign's promises to maintain and expand the protections of the Affordable Care Act. 41 NBC's Taylor Gilchrist has the latest. One of the key issues driving voters to the poll this November will be access to health care. All Georgians, regardless of where they live, deserve to have affordable, accessible health care. While criticizing former President Donald Trump's attacks of the Affordable Care Act at last week's presidential debate, Congressman Sanford Bishop highlighted what he claimed was great progress in increasing health care coverage to Georgians under the Biden-Harris administration. We've worked in Congress to provide the Department of Health and Human Services with funds so that it can award $100 million to address the need for registered nurses, nurse practitioners, certified nurse midwives, and nursing facilities. Bishop went after former President Trump for saying that he had concepts of a plan to repeal the Affordable Care Act. In a statement, Trump campaign National Press Secretary Caroline Levitt said, quote, President Trump is not running to terminate the Affordable Care Act. He is running to make health care actually affordable in addition to bringing down inflation, cutting taxes, and reducing regulations to put more money back in the pockets of all Americans who have been robbed by Kamala Harris's disastrous economic policies, end quote. Also speaking at the press conference was Kate Ellington, a local nurse. Ellington says that due to the Affordable Care Act, emergency rooms have seen less people come in for treatment of long-term complications such as diabetes and asthma. We've seen less of that. We've seen less of people coming in and using them as primary care physicians. We have seen more children having access to pediatricians and being able to be treated for acute issues without waiting in a waiting room for nine hours. As both campaigns vow to make health care affordable for more Americans, Ellington says there is a top priority that must be addressed first. First step to making sure everybody is covered is going to be ACA and making sure that people at the lowest levels, including my parents, who run a very small business, have access to health care. In Macon, Taylor Gilchrist, 41 NBC News. Well, health care is one of several issues Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Walls is expected to address at his speech tomorrow morning in Macon. You can find coverage of his remarks right here on 41 NBC.